hi and welcome to this video in this video and the next video we are going to develop an expense tracker application with google sheets database this is just a tutorial on how to use google sheets as your database this is a simple application and it is not a fully functional fully featured application okay this is the application that we are going to develop and in this video we are going through the user interface and the next video is going to be about the Google Sheets and how to connect your application to Google Sheets so let's get started I created a new Flutter application and I removed all the comments that are available by default to get started, first I'm going to remove the debug banner from our application. So in the material app, I'm going to write debug show check mode banner and I turn it to false. Next, I'm going down to the build function and this is the default application when you create a new Flutter app now I'm going to remove this body section of scaffold and as a body we are going to have a container and in the container I'm going to set a background image I found this image that I'm going to put as a background so I create new folder I call it assets and I put the image inside the assets folder and in the pubspec.yaml I go uh, down to the assets and I uncomment this line and this line and then I set assets slash and the name of the image just pay attention to the spaces the assets needs two spaces and this line needs four spaces in addition to the first two so that means six spaces the spaces are very important in the pubspec.yaml and then inside the body I'm going to have a container I created a container and I set the decoration to box decoration and inside that I set image to the decoration image and I set image to the image that we put in the assets folder I set the feet to cover the whole background of our application let's run this application in the emulator and see how it looks now we get the background image for our application next we are going to have a header and I want to put the header inside a glass container or frosted container so I do some research and I find this plugin in the pop.dev this is a glass kit and inside the glass kit it shows you how you can create your glass container and it has an example for you let's add this to our application first I take the dependencies and I set it in the popspec.yaml under Cupertino icons and I click pop get next in the main file I'm going to add import statement to import our glass container and then let, let's use the example that we have here I'm going to copy this glass container and in our application we are going to have a column because we need to have multiple widgets in the application so we need a column to put these widgets together after the container I'm going to have a column and I'm going to add a child inside the container 
So before the container ends, I add a child and as a child, I'm going to provide a column and inside the column, I'm going to put the glass container here. This is the example of glass container from the pop.div. So let's run this and see how it looks. Okay, we get a glass container, but we can make it smaller. For example, height, we are going to make it half and width, we are going to make it 300. Let's make it 350. And it would be much nicer if we didn't have these sharp corners. So we are going to set the borders to be circular. We are going to set border radius and we are going to have border radius dot circular and we are going to provide for example 24. Now it looks much better. And this glass container takes a child and as a child we are going to provide a text widget. Inside the text widget, we are going to set expense tracker. We are going to have a style, text style, and we set the font size to, for example, 30. Let's make it a bit larger. We can also reduce the height. Now we need to have our text box for expense tracker. You can see here that we have three text boxes that user can enter their expense based on the category and they click submit and the data is saved into the Google Sheets and it looks much better if we have the text boxes inside our glass container so the same thing we need to have a glass container and we need to have a child and as a child, we are going to have a column. In the column, we are going to have three widgets. Let's copy this glass container. And after this one, we are going to have a sized box to have some separation. And in the child, for glass container we need to have a column and inside the column we need to have our text field I'm going to write the text field for the first one Okay, inside our text field, we are going to have a controller to get the input that user puts into the box. And then we are going to have decoration, input decoration, label text as grocery, as a hint text, for example. And then the style is color white and fill color what the user inputs is going to be white as well and we're going to have enable border and for the border we set the radius to be circular 25 
and border side is going to be white and tree is going to be width and then keyboard type when the user taps inside the text box we are going to have the number pad instead of normal keyboard because the input has to be number and we set it to number and text style is font family and color is white for the controller we are going to define a controller in the class and before the build function for example here and for this one we're going to give the name to the controller that we defined here and for the increment this is the function from the default application of flutter we don't need it so we're going to remove it now let's use the hot reload to see how it looks okay that's what we want and we need to create two more text fields we can close this container to make it simpler and as a next child inside the glass container we're going to have another text field and the label text is going to be for example gas and then another one is going to be utility bills now you see that we get the black and yellow line we need to increase the height of glass container and we need to put some spaces between the text fields now it looks better let's adjust the height of the glass container now you can see that application it looks fine but we have this app bar that doesn't look good with our application so how we can remove this app bar we need to go to scaffold and inside the scaffold we need to say extend body behind app bar and we set this to true and inside the app bar we are going to set the background color to transparent and the title we are going to set it to empty let's save and let's give this glass glass container some space we can use padding and we can set the edge inset dot symmetric and we're going to set vertical okay but you can see that the app bar still has a shadow for this we have to set the elevation of the app bar to zero and now we don't have the app bar anymore now we need a submit button to submit our data to the google sheets we are going to add a raised button first we need sized box and then we need to add a raised button and recently the raised button has been deprecated and we can use elevated button so remember that in flutter the new flutter we have the elevated button instead of raised button and for the unpressed we need to specify a function we need to call a function and as a child we need to have a text widget
okay this is the button and for the unpressed we are going to discuss a function in the next video on how to get the data from the form and submit it to the Google Sheets and we can add a hamburger button and we can have an option to visualize the spending of user as a pie chart like this one we can have a drawer in our application so inside the scaffold we have an option to have a drawer and inside the drawer we're going to mention the items inside the drawer Inside the drawer, I defined a drawer. I set the elevation, and as a child, as I set list view. And in the list view, I have children. In the children, we have drawer header. In the header, we put a text, and for decoration, we have the box decoration of color blue. You can put image also as well, and as a first item we have list tile and the title is going to be analyze and on tap when the user taps the analyze it's going to be directed to the next page which is analyze so we need to go to lib folder and we need to have a new file analyze.dart inside this file we're going to import the material and we're going to have a class and in the main we need to import that file we're going to save and we can see the buttons for the menu and we can click on it and we can have the drawer if we tap on the analyze it goes to next page which is empty at the moment in the analyze page we are going we are going to get all the details for grocery gas and utility bills and we are going to create a pie chart we are going to discuss that analyze page in the next video so that's it for this video about the user interface of this application please watch the next video if you are interested in connecting this application to google sheets and use the google sheets as our database thanks for watching i will see you in the next video